So when I got my P1P, it was a game changer for me and my 3D print farm. It allowed just honestly super fast prints, allowed me to turn over some products to customers on the same day as they ordered them. And yeah, it was just excellent all around, but I haven't done any maintenance to it since I bought it. It's still running perfectly fine, but I think it's time we tackle that issue. The main goals are going to be to clean and dust the printer. Uh, we're going to replace the hot end. We're going to basically try to clean off all the linear rods, all the motion system. Um, we're going to change the bed, the print surface, and uh, then go back and lube all of the lead screws and all that kind of stuff. The hope is that these five simple maintenance steps will be enough to keep the printer running smoothly for longer. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try break this down so it's as simple as possible because I know these Bamboo Lab printers are kind of daunting to work on because they're so enclosed, but it, this stuff is really simple and you can't really go wrong. We're going to deal with the dust and kind of like general like crap that comes with like just constantly 3D printing. So this thing's just sitting on a shelf, a, a lac kind of storage system for printers that I came up with and it's just printing non-stop so uh, I didn't have time to dust it, I didn't get a chance, didn't really think about it to be honest with you, it's not something that I considered so now we're just gonna give it a good clean and I'm gonna show you how I did that. Before we continue this video I really want to thank my sponsor PCBWay. PCBWay offers PCB prototyping, PCB assembly and now offers CNC and 3D printing services. They also asked me to mention their sixth project design contest for electronic and mechanical design. Um, this contest has some excellent prizes, including first place can win up to 1500 cash in this competition, which I think is insane. Um, you also get some other prizes like a thousand cash for second place and 500 cash for third place. But uh, yeah, you should check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Um, yeah, so let's get back into maintaining your P1P or P1S. So I just got a microfiber claw, basically a dry microfiber claw, and just started getting into all the nooks and crannies with it. Um, any areas that I thought were dust might build up, I just tried to clean them out as best as possible. Um, you don't want to use any kind of alcohol on this part because you're just cleaning the frame essentially. But if you can get your hands on an air duster, it would be really helpful for getting into like all the tight spots. I wasn't able to get one uh, before I made this video, but maybe it's something you should look into. But if you are doing it the old fashioned way like I am, uh, just try to get to whatever spots you can. Uh, don't worry about it if you can't get to it. Um, it won't make that much of a difference. Now that we have the printer well and truly dusted, we're gonna move on to basically replacing the hot end. Um, it's called a nozzle on other printers, but Bamboo Labs call it a hot end. Um, in this video, I actually went for a 0 0.6 millimeter nozzle, but I'd actually recommend sticking with the 0 0.4, and I'll explain that in a bit. So to remove the hot end off of your P1P or P1S, uh, you're just going to need a set of Allen keys. This is just a cheap set I got off Amazon. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description. So these are the two screws you want to remove uh, to release the hot end from the printer. Um, just remove the two of those and slide down to take out the hot end. If you're using the same Allen key set, that I linked in the description. You're gonna use the pink Allen key for this, but if you're not, it's a two millimeter Allen key, I believe, uh, to open up these two bolts holding in the hot end. When you have the bolts removed from holding in the hot end, you just wanna pull down, and then there's two wires that run to the side, you just wanna pull those out. So I had to go and order some parts from Bamboo. Um, they came pretty quickly, and honestly, I can't believe how cheap some of this stuff was. Um, like. I, all in all, like for a proprietary system, they sell all their parts for very reasonable prices for what you're getting. So this is one of the parts I ordered. It's a 0 0.6 millimeter hot end for the P1P. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting it though. So what I've, I know I've barely tested this, right? So don't take this as the gospel, but it doesn't seem to speed up printing for some reason. It's like it's locked in the slicer to a certain flow rate or something and that's all you're getting maybe there's a way to fix this if you guys have any recommendations let me know it comes to your old hot end you're going to want to remove uh, the fan the ceramic heater and the thermistor um, i'm going to show you how to do that now uh, it's pretty simple 
So to remove the old hot end fan, there's just two screws down located at the bottom. We're going to be using our pink hex key again, uh, two millimeter. Just get those two off and the fan should just slide right out. Don't lose the screws though. Uh, you're going to need them to reassemble the new hot end. So now that you have the hot end fan off uh, and completely removed, you want to start working on getting the ceramic hero. That means you need to remove the steel clip holding it on. Uh, just be very careful. Um, just because the thermistor cable is very small and thin, you don't want to rip that out. Um, you can buy replacements from Bamboo Labs, but if you do it right, you shouldn't have to. Now that you have the clip off, the only thing holding the ceramic heater on is like a thermal paste. Um, so you just want to pull the wires out of the channel, lift up the ceramic heater and just be very gentle. Um, see those thin wires? That's the thermistor cable. It's just in like a little tiny hole, so be very gentle. And yeah, now the hot end is completely disassembled and we're ready to move on to the next part so now that you have your old hot end disassembled reassembling the new one is basically the exact same thing so you just want to make sure that you have a good amount of thermal paste on the hot end um, you can see there I have a healthy amount of it on um, yeah I'm not gonna bore you by saying the same steps over again but just make sure you've good amount of thermal compound on it um, and just take your time uh, when you're reassembling it. Don't rush, those wires are fragile. Now that we have our hot end bolted back on, I'm just gonna plug back in the cables and I'm gonna do a quick test print uh, just to make sure that everything is working perfectly fine and that there's none that I need to worry about. So this first test burn came out actually pretty good. It's a 200% Benji. Um, I can't really see any imperfections in it. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, we're gonna keep moving on to the next part. So replacing the bed is actually really easy. It's just a matter of lifting off the old bed and dropping the new one on. Um, I replaced my old bed with an engineering plate uh, just cause I print a lot of ABS on this machine. Um, but yeah, that's all you have to do really. Not more to be said. Now we're coming to the last, but probably not the least. Um, you really want to look at doing this on all of your machines, even your slower ones. Um, so this is just a matter of, we're gonna start lubing our uh, lead screws. Um, these kind of, these are essential. So you don't want these locking up on you or anything like that. So yeah, this is an important step, um, it, but it's really easy. So all you're really going to be doing is putting a few dabs of uh, just your preferred lubricant. So I'm using PTF grease here. Um, there's a bunch of different other ones you can use. I'll leave a link to this one in the description, the one I use. Uh, but you just want to put like a few blobs like that and then run your motion system up and down um, just to try to spread it out as e evenly as possible. Um, I recommend using a healthy dose. I don't see how too much could be a problem, but um, if you disagree with that, let me know in the comments. So if you guys have watched the whole way to the end here, I just want to thank you. Um, this channel has kind of blown up in a big way for me. Not like massive subscriber way or like big YouTuber way, but like it's doing a lot better than I thought it would ever do. And yeah, I just want to thanks my, thank my channel sponsor, PCB Way, um, for all the opportunities they're giving me. And, you know, I hope you guys are excited for the videos that are coming in the future. We're also doing a subscriber giveaway at 250 subscribers. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, so just make sure you guys are subscribed. And thanks again.